What's up? Tonight, I wanted to do a video about this crazy storm that happened where I live, where I live in Bakersfield. When I was a kid, that was uh, probably the scariest storm that I ever witnessed in my life. And it was here in California where we don't get storms like this. Like, whenever there's a hurricane, it goes off into the Pacific Ocean and fizzles out and does nothing. Okay, so this was like in either 1997 or 1998 when we had that big crazy uh, El Nino Godzilla storm. And it was insane. Like, one night my family was going to church. It was a Wednesday night. And we, th my parents were taking me and my siblings and probably some of our friends, if they were even allowed to go out of their houses because the storm was so bad, we were going to church and my mom had to actually hold on to me so the wind would not sweep me away and herself too. Like it was insane. I'm pretty sure we didn't end up actually going. I'm pretty sure we turned around and just went back in and stayed not dead. So yeah, it was, it was crazy. And when I was eight years old, I was already a pretty big kid. Like I was never a small kid and I was also probably fatter <laughs> than other kids too. So I probably weighed more. So I was a big bulky, like donut and I was being swept away by the, by the wind like taking a step made my other foot come off the ground it was scary anyways like we haven't had anything that crazy since outside of the one time we got snow in 1999 so the the main thing I really wanted to talk about was our neighbors we have neighbors on both sides and behind us this is the back side of my house <laughs> the neighbors on this side of my house they used to have this date tree in their yard like, uh, if you don't know what a date tree is, it's a type of palm tree, and it's got these plants on it. They're called dates, and they're like people make pies out of them and stuff. Anyways, not important. There is just a fruit tree, like a, like a palm tree that has fruit. Their giant tree, I mean, it was definitely not a small tree. It was a pretty tall palm tree, had become uprooted and fell over onto our fence, and it hit my window, my bedroom window, and I'm pretty sure my whoever's i think it was you and dad were still in that room mom were you do you think you were still in that room yeah i think it hit my room and my parents' room which are on the front side of my house and it scared the bejesus out of me because i thought someone was breaking into my house <laughs> outside of you know i was probably not thinking totally clearly as an eight-year-old because there were definitely already like wind howling and sticker balls being thrown everywhere and probably ice and the wind and whatever else there could possibly be sounds already happening but it was so loud when it hit the fence there was this giant like brass sound like when you when you when someone hits a bell and it just kind of like resounds and like you hear all the little echoes of it but this giant tree that's way too big for me to put my arms around probably how big around do you think this tree was it's probably like six feet around it was a big palm tree <laughs> and it crashed into our fence and it bent the top of the fence. And I wish I had pictures, but I don't. But this giant tree just smashed into our house and all of these big, huge branches, like the ones that you see like people fanning off, like rich fat people with. <laughs> they were all like touching my window in the front of our house and in our rose bush. And it was just leaning over the fence and me, me eight, my brother six, and my sister, four, we're all little kids and we have neighbors and all of our all of our neighbors have kids and we're all like in our yard where this giant tree has just fallen over and the palm tree branches or the palm tree leaves are leaning over the top of the fence. You could go under there and pretend like it was a clubhouse. And we tried to do this, but my dad was like, you shouldn't do that. But you know, we tried to anyways. This, it was just, it bent our fence and our fence is metal and brick. <laughs> it's not one of those flimsy uh, wire fences that have like the crisscross patterns or anything like that. It bent our fence over. Gosh, I wish I had pictures. And I don't remember how we actually got rid of it. I don't remember how we got our fence yeah, bent up right too. Chopped the tree up. Apparently my dad chopped up the neighbor's tree and we got firewood from it. Our neighbors at that point were actually, we were actually friends with them. Wasn't that when we still had? Yeah, there was this nice old lady that used to live next door, but I think she's passed away by now. But she was super nice and we used to sometimes go over to her house and like talk to her and stuff. Anyways, her tree fell over into our yard and she let us use it for firewood. But I don't remember us fixing up the fence at all. Like one day the fence was literally obviously bent and the next day it was just 
completely straight again. Oh gosh, that was such a long time ago. Yeah, that was 20 years ago when I was eight. But yeah, that's the craziest storm that I have ever witnessed in my life. And I witnessed hail and snow and power outages and stuff. But that, no way. I've never witnessed anything that could uproot a tree. I don't think we've ever had any storm that crazy since. We couldn't go anywhere without our cars getting air driving down the street. I do remember that when we were driving places and the wind would blow up underneath I the car. Was because, like, it was moving the car all the way into the other lane. The wind would literally move our cars when we were out driving. It was crazy. But like we don't we don't get snow, not in this part of California. We hardly ever get any like rainstorms. We've had it's basically been the driest it's ever been. We don't get anything that's fancy. We don't hardly even get earthquakes and it's California. Unless we get them and I just don't feel them anymore. Anyways, we don't get like lightning and thunder. Uh, unless it's like really random, but it's still rare, but we get wind. We get wind and we get dust. Don't come to the San Joaquin Valley unless you got the lungs of like Jesus, because valley fever is bad and we get wind and we get dust. It's already polluted and smells like cows anyways, so like just be gentle to yourself and don't come here. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's my that's my story of the craziest storm that I was ever a witness to. So, yeah. In the comments, tell me about the craziest storm that you ever uh, experienced in your life. And, like, go into detail if you can, because that would be, like, super cool. Because I like to know things about my subscribers and my friends. And I don't know if I have family, but, like, I like to know things about the people who watch my videos. Because... Like, it makes me feel insightful. It makes me feel like I know a little bit more about your lives. Because you now you know a part about mine, and now you can share a part about yours. 